Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BC. We're here in the greatest city in the world, Daniel Beach. And you're watching True School Sports. Most motherfuckers don't know shit about boxing. Uh, it's, it's better to have it in UK because of the fans. Like, you know, like, don't lie. You know the best fans in the world are in UK, right? The loudest fans in the world. Best, best <laughs> boxing fans in the UK. Best boxing fans in the world are in the UK. Come on, tell me. These guys are treated like celebrities. Even Chisora, like like someone who's... Well, who's I'll tell you this. I'll, I'll yeah. tell you this. When I, when I went to the UK, I was, I, was watching, I was watching Sky Sports one night. And I saw yeah. a commercial. For, I saw a commercial for Josh Warrington, and I was I was blown away. I'm like, Josh Warrington has commercials. <laughs> exactly. Like, like yeah. I mean, he's just a lower tier champ, isn't he? But um, because he's not the quite the heavyweight, you know, the the big dogs. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, man. The thing is, what I was saying in the comments there as well. It will bring the whole country to a standstill. Like you, you're talking. You did you watch the you watch the World Cup obviously, isn't it? I the did. I did. FIFA World Cup, yeah. Now England and Croatia, when they had the when they had the match, the whole country was like the, as the streets were empty. The whole country was in a standstill. I can only and, imagine. You know, pubs, <laughs> pubs and bars were like going like booming, and every everywhere was just it was it was buzzing because because of this. I think I think this is the only event, other than that, that I'll see in my lifetime that actually matches that. Yeah, that's the World Cup that. because the, I mean the most the most that this country wants is to win the World Cup. I get that, but like the semi final was just unreal. It was like it was unreal. Now, Joshua Fury, seeing that is the heavyweights as well, the like the top the top dogs in the top division, and Joshua like I don't think Fury has that big feeling, but Joshua definitely does, definitely hundred percent. Like amount of kids around here, bro, that that just that's that get in the gym because of Joshua. It's he should get those um, MBE, you know, you know, one of those knighthoods. Yeah, yeah. For that. I know what it is. Yeah. Even though, even though he's gonna, even though he's gonna get his ass whooped by Fury, <laughs> <laughs> which, which, which gonna you know is gonna happen as well. You know, it's gonna happen. He's you gonna know, get destroyed, bro. From day one, when from day one, I was, I was saying to you as well. You agreed as well. This was gonna happen, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. This is so this, just. It's this just. Is we... Yeah. So go. On. Yes, sir. I was gonna say this is the fight that that we've been wanting even before Wilder fought Fury. Hundred percent, man. Hundred percent. But the thing is, um, I always thought Wilder was a tougher challenge for Fury than Joshua. Controversial yeah, because, as it may be, yeah, because of the whole awkwardness of Wilder, and Wilder is more agile as well. Like you can't really train for Wilder that well because there's not another one like him out there. It's the yeah. same with. Um, Fury, obviously, you can't find anyone that's six foot nine. Otherwise, um, there there is like a Ukrainian fighter that's six foot nine, and he moves a bit like Fury as well. Dev, Devichenko, I think is. Uh, no, Talking about Ivan, yeah, Ivan I, I, Ditchko. I, I can't remember. His name. Ivan, Ivan yes, Ditchko. Yes, Ivan Ditchko. Yes, that's the guy. Yeah, he's he's also looking really good. Like he's six foot nine, and he can really move like a lightweight as well, like like Fury in a way. Um, yeah, he's huge. In terms of Joshua, it's just too. It's 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 just too. He's too. Stiff with his punches, and I've said this. You know, before Joshua got knocked out by uh, Andy Ruiz, I said this about him. I said he doesn't move his head. He he gets he got hurt by Povetkin in the first like fight just because he was putting his gloves up, and nothing other than that. Um, Takam hurt him. Who else hurt him? Klitschko put him down. Like so, these he were did. his four fights before. Dillian White, Dillian White as well. Dillian, Dillian White, White, yeah, Dillian White. Dylan White, I don't think is that is. I, I think he's a bit overrated. If I'm not, I think he will be Chisora 2.0. But I can see that. Yeah, but man, like I, I think it's a tougher fight, in my opinion, against Wilder than it would be against Joshua. And I said that even before the first Wilder fight. Um, now, but is that me saying that this is hundred percent Fury winning? <laughs> no, come on, man. Anything could happen. Joshua can. I, th I see a small window for Joshua, which I think Ben Davidson really pointed out well. He said that Joshua is going to have that window where he's in range, in uh, where he's just about in range, and is going to be uh, he's going to be on the inside. And then if he gets the combinations going, 
then he has to go for the knockout, really. But other than knockout, I mean, if it goes to the cards, no way. Can he? Come on. <laughs> Do you think you can outpoint him? No, I could see. If, uh, I could see Fury getting robbed on the cards, though. If it's in the UK. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The gold. Oh, forgot <laughs> about that. The Canelo. The Canelo factor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because we, we know Joshua is the golden boy. Maybe the factor. Boxing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no. I get that. I get that as well. Um, one other thing I was going to say as well about Fury. Um, it, yeah. So I, I speak to some of these Joshua fans, right? Because my all my friends and like we we we're all split. Like the. I asked, they, they think Joshua's going to win, but I asked them, what makes you think that? And that's where they come up <laughs> <on track. laughs> yeah, Because they just, they got this feeling that later on in the rounds, they, Joshua's just going to catch him and then that's it. But no. if he can handle Wilder's right hand, then like, and, and he's got better stamina than Joshua as well. Yeah. But going back to better the point. Stamina, of, uh, yeah, and better, better speed, IQ. Yeah. Speed, IQ. I mean, one thing I'd give to Joshua is his punches are more crisp. That's 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 the only other thing I can say. But he does this thing that Larry Holmes used to do, which I think Spencer Ferron really pointed out really well, that he has his arms open and until he goes for the punch, he closes it. Tyson Fury, that yeah, is, yeah. when he's throwing the jab, closes at the right time to gain that speed as well. Um, but yeah, man, going back to your point of whether this happens in America or UK, Part of me wants to say they owe it to the country, so they they, they, <laughs> they owe us this they owe us this fight in the UK. But then again, I mean, it's the fighters, isn't it? So I don't think even America can put up the money that Saudi will put up. No, they yeah. can't put up more money than they they can't put more, more money than Saudi. But I think it's it's not just the money; it's it's the money and the exposure. I think uh, maybe the maybe they can't put up as much as much money, but they can offer the money like somewhere close to that money. And the exposure, which makes the event bigger. Yeah, yeah, no, I get the exposure side as well. However, what I was also thinking was the timings. Now, if this fight was happening in America, the timings would be around because I I watch tons of fights on like ESPN, but I have to stay up until like five a.m., which is like crazy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I, I know um, how it is. I know how it is. Oh man, your Sunday is ruined, literally. But the thing is, um, <laughs> now, I, I mean, I remember watching Khan. Danny Garcia and I was I'm a, I live I live in Manchester so obviously I'm I'm a fan of Khan as well he's he's an amazing obviously man so but the thing is yeah. like um when you obviously see a quick ending and get in a knockout and you're like why did you stay up but what I was saying was because they're going to tailor it to the UK crowd still Saudi are better with this because the fight will be 10 p.m. over here in UK if it was in America it'll be 5 a.m. I'm not sure if you're gonna get it. Even though it's Joshua Fury, you can get more of a crowd if you if you tailor the timings to UK timing. I I could see that I could see that, but you yeah. know, because um, Khan fought Billy Dibbs, right? Did he? Well, no, sad. The he Billy, Billy Dibbs Dib. fight, the, yeah, yeah, the super featherweight who jumped up to fight Khan on last minute. Um, <laughs> that was a ten. That was a ten p.m. fight. That was a ten p.m. fight over here. Yeah, and Joshua Joshua Ruiz. 10 p.m. fight over here, prime time. Now, if you're oh, combining yeah, no, I, money I, I, and the I was, timing, I was in the UK. Yeah, I was in the I was in the UK for Joshua Ruiz too. So I, I remember that. Oh, were you? Oh, mad. Oh, uh, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. I was in. Um, you been to the Everton, in Everton ground? Nah, uh, I was in the UK for like about a couple of weeks, but like it, it, it kind of went the, the trip kind of went to shit because I was kind of underprepared, so yeah, bro, <laughs> I couldn't really bro. move around too much. This is this is the this is the team, man. This is the team. You know this. Nah, nah. You need you, you need to get that get get, get that off camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Also, also a big Mike Tyson fan as well. Got that. He shouldn't do that as well. But um, yeah, me too. Yeah, bro. Um, um, what I would what I would say in terms of the fight happening in America, I think the likeliest scenario is happening in Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia because of the more money, and the timings. I think that will take. Um, that will that will be more preferred. But then again, it depends on the camp. It all depends. Plus, yeah, Fiori depends. would it, probably would be adamant to fight in US. Yeah. I know. I know. Like Aram, Aram is gonna want to fight it in the US. Mm. He, he, I think, he, I think Aram will be more open to the fight happening in Saudi than Hearn will be to the fight happening in the US. Oh yeah, yeah. But the yeah. thing is. 
is it is more of a neutral ground as well, isn't it? I mean, I don't, Saudi? I don't want like yeah, Saudi is a neutral. I mean, I, I don't. I, you want to be either in the MS MSG or or MGM Grand, then Saudi, and then you rather be in Wembley Stadium than you than US. But that's the thing. Like the like if you if you're talking about preference, I'd least prefer it to be in the Saudis. Least. Like I would say, UK Wembley Stadium is tailor made for that. They, I mean, come on! I, I watched um, Joshua Klitschko just the just the start of it. You know when they're doing the ring walks. Yeah, yeah. I've never oh my seen God. anything like it, man. Never seen anything <laughs> like that. Never. They have the in little letters. Boxing, yeah. Oh, like I had it full blast. Like and and I was listening to everything. Oh, oh man, the the crowd was mental. In terms of the crowd, in terms of the atmosphere, it has to be Wembley Stadium. But then again. If it's not that, then up then MGM Grand, 100% MGM Grand.